Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The cookie cutter tool lets you create custom shapes out of images or other pixel based layers. Unlike the custom shape tool that creates a mask, this tool crops away all the pixels outside of the shape you choose. If you use this on a vector based shape or text layer within the layers panel, it will helpfully offer to rasterize the selected layer before using the cookie cutter tool. You must simplify the layer before you can use the cookie cutter tool. To use this tool, select the desired pixel-based layer in the Layers panel and select the Cookie Cutter tool from the toolbox and the Tool Options bar. It shares a spot on the toolbox with the Crop tool and Perspective Crop tool. Then click the Custom Shape Picker drop-down in the Tool Options bar and double-click the custom shape that you want to apply to the selected layer. You can then use the next drop-down to set the geometry options for the shape you draw. Selecting the unconstrained choice, which is the default, lets you freely draw the shape without constraints. Selecting defined proportions lets you keep the height and width proportional, which prevents warping of the shape. Choosing defined size lets you crop the image to the size of the shape you pick and doesn't let you change the size. Selecting fixed size lets you enter your own height and width into the adjacent W and H fields. To draw the shape from the center outwards, check the From Center checkbox. Otherwise, you will click and drag from one corner diagonally to the other corner, or simply click once to draw the shape in the layer. You can use the Feather slider to soften the edges of the shape selection. Clicking the Crop checkbox will trim the image to the bounding box that contains the created shape. After setting your options, either click once or click and drag depending on the settings you selected to add your shape to the layer. You can move the shape or resize it by using the resizing handles. You can also transform the shape using the options in the transform panel in the tool options bar if desired. To save your changes when you are done, click the commit button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.